There's new evidence of a link between sudden cardiac arrest and influenza. Spoiler alert. This is another propaganda video to distract you from what's really causing heart attacks and to sell you another vaccine. Prompting experts to reinforce the benefits of vaccination. The message is particularly important for those with underlying heart conditions. When Hilary Williams felt chest pains earlier this year, he thought he was pushing himself too hard. I thought oh, maybe I'd done one too many push-ups and just my 53-year-old body just wasn't coping. Minutes later, the warning signs became clear. The pain just intensified and started to move down my left arm. The Greystain's dad, with a passion for fitness and mountain biking, had two major blockages in his heart. Fortunately, he received timely treatment and was prescribed medications to protect his heart, including having a flu jab. You know, I want to do now whatever I can to kind of minimise the risk of having another one because, again, Professor Tan said that in the first 12 months, I'm at highest risk of having another one. Is as good as um, reducing your cholesterol or stopping smoking um, in someone who's had a heart attack. Dr. Tan says there's a seasonal link between influenza and sudden cardiac arrest, especially among older Australians. That is what it is. So, yep. Yep. Using statistical modelling, we've been able to demonstrate that there is potentially a relationship between the two. Studies have shown a peak in heart attacks and strokes during the winter months. Experts say it's not too late to be vaccinated. While they are encouraging signs the number of flu cases is easing, it makes up 60% of respiratory infections, outnumbering COVID and RSV. Sudden death syndrome. It's no longer only babies. Working people and young athletes are suddenly dropping dead. We have a health problem, a national health crisis. Unfortunately, the vaccine is a taboo subject. Uh, on Wall Street, when we see statistics like this, uh, we become quite alarmed. 